What's up everyone? Welcome back to this week's episode of Real Talk with the Razorbacks. I'm your host, volunteer assistant coach, Felicia Hano, and I'm so excited to have our special guest this week, Sophia Carter. Hi guys. <laughs> so excited to be here this week. So this past weekend we were at home versus Alabama. It was our women's empowerment meet and it was our senior night. It was such an amazing night in Barnhill. So I want you to try to put into words how it felt to have your senior night this year. It was so emotional and just bittersweet, you know. It's the last time I was gonna compete in that arena with those fans just right there. So it's definitely emotional. And every time I kept thinking like, wow, this is truly my last moment in here. So I was just trying to soak up everything and just really be present, stay with the team, stay in the moment. Since it was a home meet, we started off on vault where Sav led us off incredibly with a stuck ear tangle full. She scored a 9.8. I am so proud of Sav. I know that is exactly what she has been doing in practice and that is what she is capable of. So to see her deliver that in competition, just so proud. So moving on to the bars, we had a rockin' bars rotation and I think probably one of the main highlights was Jensen's bar routine. She finally hit her bar team like we know she can, and she scored a 9.875. Yeah, like Sav, she's just been doing that in practice. So to see her deliver, that's like one of her best routines I've ever seen her do. So very proud. I feel like she's like a, a little girl growing up. I feel like I'm an old grandma just <laughs> seeing my children grow up. But she's just becoming such a young, beautiful, poised gymnast, and I'm so excited for her. Absolutely. And then we also had Maggie, who just always finishes off the rotation so great. She scored a 9.95. As always, Maggie just doing her thing. Yes. Just like that's her normal now. So of course it's amazing, but just, just Maggie things. So moving on to the balance beam, we had some pretty solid leadoffs all day long. Um, Kiara scoring a 9.875 with a beautiful routine. Yeah, that routine was absolutely lights out. She was just smiling up there, doing her thing, and it was just gorgeous. Yeah, it was really cool to see. And then also, super strong ending of the rotation to Kennedy, putting her exclamation point mm -hmm. on the beam with a 9.95. Yeah, after two of her not so best events, she just turned it around and just did her normal Kennedy routine, and beautiful as always. And closing off the meet with an absolute floor party, we had four scores of 9.925. Starting us off super duper strong, Abby finally breaking 9.9 .9 and then scoring a 9.925. Yeah, absolutely. So just proud of her and she's been capable of that all season and the judges finally rewarded the routine and she absolutely deserved it. I always say she's like the best lead off in the country on floor because she is and she just starts us off with a bang every week. She does, she gets the party started and the party continued. Schaefer scored a 9925, Kenny yes. scored a 9925, and Yusuf also scored a 9925 to close off the night in Barnhill. Yeah, it was just an exciting rotation, just building off each routine, energy, like pumping in Barnhill. So just try to keep it rolling and finish with the best routine that I could deliver. Okay, so, so what was going through your mind during your last floor routine in Barnhill? Um, I try not to get ahead of myself too much, just stay in the moment one pass at a time. Um, just soak up the energy and just perform for the fans. And then um, I've been having a little bit of trouble with my last pass, but I try not to overthink it. Just do my normal thing and I think I did one of my best ones this season. So that was super exciting. So like I said earlier, it was also the Women's Empowerment Meet. What did it mean to you to have your senior night also be on the night of the Women's Empowerment Meet? Um, it was just a really special moment, just getting to honor all the important women in our lives or women that have empowered us and inspired us throughout our careers. So taking a moment to not only um, reflect and be my senior night, but to also see everyone, in, um, just to see everyone embrace and honor the women that have inspired them throughout their careers. So that was just super special. So looking back at your amazing career, what would you say that your favorite moment as a Razorback was? Um, two come to mind right off the bat. So as a team, my favorite moment thus far has been when we made it to nationals my freshman year as a team. That was just so exciting and we know we could do it. So we just delivered that meet and um, it's just so exciting and our hard work just paid off. And then 
The second one is whenever I made it to nationals as an individual and I got to compete on floor. Um, that was just so exciting, getting to show, show off my floor team. I was, that was one of my favorite floor teams I've done, so just getting to perform at the national stage was really cool. So I want you to tell me a little bit about your goals post-graduation, what you want to do with your life after gymnastics. So after graduation, my plan as of now is just to take a gap year and just kind of chill and focus on me a little bit, um, travel if that's allowed with coronavirus, but just take some time. I'm gonna be applying to medical school, so I'm gonna work really hard on getting my resume my application just perfect, um, shadowing a little bit more, and just working on my MCAT score. So I know that it's a little bit premature, a little bit early to kind of think about what kind of medicine you want to go into, but do you know what kind of field or study that you want to you want to do? Yeah. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> I don't know yet, but there's a couple things that I'm really interested in. Um, I think I would love surgery and just the aspect of um, just operating on people. I feel like I would be able to perform almost similar to gymnastics. It's very high stakes, but you have to be at your very best. So I think I would love that and do something orthopedics. I think that would be really fun getting athletes back out, out there after an operation. Or I think something along like women's health or OBGYN. I would love to do that. It's something I'm really passionate about. So I'd love to, to get um, you know babies delivered and just help women with their hormones and everything. Just improve their lives the best that I can. So if the fans could know one thing about you, what would you want them to know? Huh, that's kind of tough. Um, I'm not really a cat person, but I did adopt a kitten over the summer and it like totally changed my life. She is a bundle of craziness and she just brings me so much joy. So I have a kitten, she's like eight months old. Her name is Maylee and I just love her. She's so crazy though. <laughs>